Hello students. In this video, we are going to learn about DRAM refresh operation. In our previous video, we saw about the leakage current that is happening in DRAM. So far, we have completed the one transistor version of DRAM, three transistor version of DRAM. What are the operation modes that is happening in DRAM? And then the leakage current that is most important in DRAM. Now, we are going to learn in specific about the refresh mechanism that is happening in your dynamic random access memory. See here, we said previously that your data will be discharged and thereby a separate mechanism for charging or for refreshing is needed. So see here that is a flow diagram in which how a refresh mechanism is happening. First a particular cell has been selected and I am reading the data. Once after the read operation has been completed, what I have to do? Before it loses its charge, I have to recharge it. So what I am doing? I am restoring the values and I am rewriting the bits. Okay, and then re once the bits are rewritten, and only then I can select the cells, and then I can read my data again. I will be restoring the values and by using the rewrite bits again. I will be selecting the particular cell. This is how the refresh mechanism is happening. But here I mentioned right restore values. That is nothing but the refreshing that has been happening. So how I am restoring the values or what device is used for restoring will be learnt in this video. See here, it may look clumsy, but it is not that much confusing. See here, there are certain steps for refreshing. First, there will be pre-charge devices that will be turned on during the active phase of pre-charge. PC is a signal. When the PC signal, which is nothing but pre-charge signal. So when my PC is turned on, my pre-charged devices will be on. So the devices will be pre-charged. Right? Assume I said previously that there will be various rows and various columns. So I can say there will be various cells in a cell array. Right? So inside a particular row, there are various columns. Inside a column, there are various cells. Assume that inside a particular cell, I am dividing the particular column into two half. Okay. There are various, consider there are uh, six columns or six cells inside a particular column. I am dividing it into three cells and three cells each. In between these three cells and three cells, I'm going to keep a latch. Okay. This latch will help us in refreshing the data values. As of now, just understand that the column, the particular column is divided into two. One half will be there on one side of the particular uh, latch and other half of the cell will be on the opposite side of the latch. So what is it? A cross coupled dynamic latch. This is the center part. A cross coupled latch is used to detect the small voltage difference. Okay, because it is losing its charge. Whatever the voltage that has been lost will be detected because of this latch and that will be used for restoring my signal values. The storage array is split into half, I, I said earlier. Equal capacitance are connected to each side of the latch. Equal capacitance CD and CD bar, they are kept on the opposite side of the latch. See here, we know a single transistor DRAM version, we will be having a MOSFET and a capacitor. So what is it? This is going to store a single bit again. Don't think this is going to store a bit because these are dummy cells. Dummy cells are created in your refreshing mechanism for refreshing your data. Okay, there is a dummy cell. Again, see here, there is again a dummy cell. So a dummy cells will be kept on the two sides of your latch and equal capacitance will be kept on either side of your latch. And then see, this is R28, this was 128th row, particular cell is being selected. Here it is 129th. So this will be storing one data and this is going to store another data. 
and that is a MOSFET and a C, which is a capacitor. This is a storage capacitor. This is the original cell. And the same way, R28 line is there, right? This is also an original cell. And are another MOSFETs which are present are nothing but your dummy cells. So on the opposite sides of your latch, I will be having my dummy cells as well as an equal capacitance. Okay. What is this? The entire column is being divided into two. Each half column has a dummy cell. That's what I said. On either side of your latch, you'll be having a dummy cell. So on each half column, will be having a dummy cell, which will be storing a capacitance. This is a dummy cell. That will be storing a capacitance equal to half of the storage capacitance. What data is being stored in the capacitor? Half of the capacitance value will be stored in your dummy capacitance. Okay. Now, there are two capacitance I said that are CD and CD bar. The CD and CD bar are charged to the same logic high level because pre-charge during the pre-charge phase, what is going to happen? I said the first point is pre-charge devices are turned on during the active phase of PC. So when the PC signal is being given, CD and CD bar are pre-charged to the high logic level through the VDD. Okay, because I'm having a VDD, this is turned on. So my node CD and CD bar will be pre-charged to logic high level. Now, there are two nodes named X and Y. They are the dummy nodes of the dummy cell. And these nodes are pulled down to the logic zero level. Okay, initial case I'm saying that node X and node Y are pulled down to logic low level. One of the word line is made equal to one. During the row selection phase, one of the word line has been selected. We know that a capacitor will be accessed through the word line. So if I activate the particular word line, consider this cell has been selected. Okay, when the word line on this line has been selected, assume go to the diagram of on transistor version, the MOSFETs gate will be connected to the word line. When a particular word line is selected, the particular cell is selected. What is happening here? One of the word line is made equal to one during the row selection phase. During that time, the dummy cell on the other side is also selected. So here consider when R128 is selected, the dummy cell on the other side, which means the dummy cell which is on the other side of the latch, which is having the node Y, will also be selected through the DS bar line. Consider if 129 is selected, this dummy cell will be selected and through the DS signal. If suppose one is stored, when the refreshing is needed, during the read operation, I need the refreshing circuitry. So consider if there is a one that is stored in the selected line, R128 is storing the data one. What is going to happen to the node voltage of the capacitor CD? This is having one voltage. So the charge sharing will take place and the CD, the drop voltage VD is going to drop as dummy cell is charged up. What is happening? First, the VD is going to rise. Okay, this is going to rise through the charge sharing because this is capacitor, is storage capacitor is having the high voltage. This from high voltage, it is moving towards a low voltage and the VD will be having a higher voltage. It will rise slightly further. Okay, so because we know that VD voltage is already pre-charged to VDD. Now I'm having a one, this one is moving towards CD and the CD voltage will rise a little further. Now, what is happening to the other side of the dummy cell? DS bar activated my dummy cell and thereby and PC is also on. So there is a path for discharging. Two transistors are on, thereby the CD voltage, CD bar voltage is going to discharge. So the voltage on the CD bar will be dropping. If suppose, so what is happening? When a one is stored, VD is high and this VD bar is low. Okay. If I sense what is the voltage, which is VD is high which means one is stored, VD bar is zero in this time. Now, if I'm going to store a zero, if suppose zero is stored, what is going to happen? There is zero, VD will reduce because whatever voltage is there will be discharged to ground through the storage capacitor. So my drop voltage will happen in VD. So drop in VD is happening, but at the same time, my VD bar is also rising because my DS signal is on, my dummy cell is activated because of PC. PC is on, it is on, and my node Y, 
is on because of ds signal both the transistors are on nothing is happening or the change is happening either a one is zero or a zero is stored my dummy cell is still on so the voltage to stored in cd is going to rise is going to fall previous case vd was increasing and cd bar was reducing but here both vd and vd bar is going to reduce but the drop in vd is larger than the drop in vd bar so there is a detectable difference between the this is the difference that is between the stored zero and the stored one now what is going to happen the final stage of refreshing operation is during the active phase of the column select signal what is happening a particular column select signal still now our latch was not activated only the selected cell and the dummy cell on the opposite side is activated now there is a final stage of refreshing operation which is happening during the column select signal when the column select signal is activated the latch is activated so that there is a difference between the stored one and stored zero one will be storing high drop will be there in vd and vd bar will also be reduced there is some difference this difference has been amplified and this latch is forcing the two columns into the opposite state okay it is reducing so my latch is again restoring the data so the stored data will be refreshed on the selected line okay thing is select a particular cell opposite cell is nothing but your dummy cell so once this is increasing one more dummy cell voltage is reducing and based on the difference between the voltages that has been sensed by the latch and it will be moving to the opposite state okay so if it is reducing if the charge which is stored in the capacitance is reducing again my dummy cell will help to again increase a particular charge and thereby the refreshing operation is being completed because of this latch that is connected between the two half of the cell so this is all about the refreshing operation of your gram thank you